hot red guys so it's uh, petri saddle fury skelliger now this can be warriors with honor guard or it can just be warriors with herald or it can be fuchsia briefs ice deck anyways uh, don't really think we need two of griffin witchers let's remove this and we definitely don't want that in hand okay maxi is all right now the thing is we don't really have access to neuromancy but we do have access to Amphibious Assault via John Atalus. So let's just start with the most obvious play that Northern Runes deck make. Yep, it's <laughs> Bloody Griffin Witcher with Crystal Skull on it. So as long as our, you know, Griffin Witcher survive, I think we should be winning this match as it is like super strong, right? Alright. So it's, uh, let's just play our uh, Dreadwits royal card and use that one thing so it's definitely not uh, devotion with Harold in it so maybe it's non-devotion uh, Skellica with honor guard in it as that's what mostly people are playing right now all right so opponent is gonna use that one thing yeah. So I think here we can just play this other Radovitz Royal Guard. Yep, let's just play this on melee, do this and... Uh, Yep, let's just boost our Griffin Witcher as we do want that card to survive if we have any chance of winning this round. Now we could have boosted the other Radovitz Royal card too, in you know, to deny our opponent Bloodthirst, but I mean it's already gonna die, right? It has three bleeding. So I think we should be okay here. Okay, Brook War Hunter. Now we definitely have to get rid of that. So let's use our moon dust here. And yep. And let's use this one thing here. So we are already one point you know behind our opponent. But as long as our Griffin Witcher <laughs> sticks on board, we should be good. Alright, another Broke War Hunter. Now we can go for another, you know, I mean we can go for boiling oil, but I think for now let's just go for maxi here. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you know after that we're gonna have 4 mulligans. So yep, I think I'm liking these draws, so let's just keep them as it is, and uh, let's use this one thing. On our Griffin Witcher. All right, its location, maybe Bear Witcher. No, nope, it's Water Master. So good thing we didn't use our boiling oil on that group war hunter. So, yep, we are definitely removing that quartermaster. And let's use this one ping on group war hunter. Now granted opponent can use the order on his location and boost that group war hunter back to 4 but you know, it's fine. Alright, another demon like longship. <sighs> you know what? Uh, let's play our princesses here. And uh, let's just kill that longship. Alright. Yep, that's great. So, Ansys might look like an overcommitment, and you know, we just removed a four point unit, but it's fine, I think. So, 
so the good thing is that opponent doesn't really have any damage units on either side of that location so he cannot really use that order so next we can you know go for uh, you know what uh, instead of uh, target practice to deny our opponent bloodthirst i think we should uh, here go for john italis into amphibious assault into margarita and we can lock one of those token uh, one of those totem units so you know our opponent won't be able to initiate that totem yep i think that's a better play here so amphibious assault into margarita and uh, I we can trust you. let's lock one of those and let's ping this once so we might actually get lucky and you know all right we are not really getting lucky but you know we might get lucky in later turns okay hemdal yep maybe i shouldn't have actually played all the units in a single row So here I think we can just go for target practice to deny our opponent blood first and go. let's just uh, damage that. Alright. So so far so good we are kind of 7 points ahead but our opponent does have that order on his location and he might actually go for a blood eagle here on that two point token in case our opponent is having a um, blood eagle that is all right it's just a bear which mentor which shouldn't actually play for that next year Let's uh, play our immortal cavalries and uh, let's damage this once and let's commit one leader charge too. So, yep, uh, you know what? I'm not really gonna commit more than one leader charge here. Now, we might, you know, we have to get a bit lucky with our random Griffin Witcher ping as I don't really want to hit that armor. Alright, great. Yep, here comes that pass. Alright. So yeah, uh, that's why, you know, Griffin Witcher is just too important. Especially with Crystal Skull on it. So anyways, uh, round 1 is in the bag. And we know that our draws are pretty nice. Now, Yodan against Skellige is like complete garbage. Okay, this is good hand. And let's just take a dry pass here. Now... Yep. Let's just go for dry pass. So the great thing is that uh, opponent has used both the broke war hunter and demonite long ships. So our opponent cannot really deal with our shields in round three. And he's also playing maxi. Okay. I mean, I have no idea what kind of deck it is, but he should be having. Arna got right. Okay, get Vini Knight again. You're done. Okay, let's remove this. Okay. So, I mean, Squirrel is not really that great. But you know, whatever. So, other than that, I think we have access to everything. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, you know our squirrel might be useful here okay now the thing is what should we start with should we start with griffin witcher adept or um i mean we can go for them I 
I think let's just go for our profit here. And we can even commit to one leader charge here. Now, yep, we should have actually played it on ranged, but we do have Griffin Witcher Adept and all these things. So, you know, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. So I think next turn we are gonna go with our squirrel as long as our opponent doesn't really play another bomb here. Okay, it's just a god. And since CDPR hasn't till now fixed it, it's not really gonna remove that shield, which is good news for us. So yep, uh, let's go for squirrel and let's banish that Maddock, which is actually, you know, a pretty bad Maddock. I mean, I haven't really seen a Maddock that bad in a match. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like our opponent doesn't really have any answer for our Prophet Liboida, so we should be pretty good in that case. Next, uh, we can go for our Griffin Witcher. And maybe after that, we can, you know, go for Neuromancy into Quinn into Keldar. Okay. Maybe it's a uh, bear butcher. Yep. Alright, so let's boost this back and. Uh, I mean, this is adrenaline 4. I mean, we can go for that too. But I think for now, let's just go for this. And let's hope we don't remove that shield. Yep, good. Now next turn, I think we are gonna go for Neuromancy into Quinn into Keldar. So that way, they are gonna, you know, both of them are gonna have shields too. Alright, here comes the leader. Maybe it's Anagard this time. Alright, it's Champion's Charge. So there goes our Prophet. I mean, he did his job right. Now, yep, let's go for Keldar. So, let's go for Neuromancy into Quinn. And let's go for Keldar here. No, I mean, it doesn't really matter in which row we play him, but I think let's just go with, you know, on melee row. Alright, great. So our uh, Rogunar is looking pretty good, right? Alright, here comes that Ana guard. Now the thing is... I mean, that is not really gonna do anything, right? We can use our Amphibious Assault for uh, Griffin Witcher Adept. <laughs> yep. And... Uh, Thank you. You know that shield is just gonna tank all that damage yep <laughs> so i mean that tunnel guard is looking dead right and our uh, king rogner is gonna destroy that arna guard pretty nicely <laughs> all right it's just a bomb which is not really enough I mean, we don't even need Rogner here at this point. Ooh, I mean, we are we have won the match by exactly double points, right? So yeah, maybe it looks like this tech is actually working. All right, guys. So we are facing double cross now. This might actually be a tough matchup for us. So we have Neuromancy and we also have uh, Amphibious Assault by John Natalis. Though I don't really think we are gonna use Skelter here. Okay, Margarita is called right. Yep, this hand is, you know, kind of all right. Yep, let's just keep it. Now the bad part here is that uh, we don't really have first say, so we cannot really use our Griffin Witcher and put Crystal Skull on it, which, you know, most of the time is what wins this round one. 
Uh, all right. So what should we start with? We can either start with our Griffin Witcher Adept or we can go for our, you know, Radovitz Royal Guard. Yep, I say let's just go for this. Maybe next turn we can play our Griffin Witcher Adept and, you know, after that we are gonna see. Okay, so looks like our opponent is actually playing a min deck, which is, you know, uh, I hate mill decks, man. So, yep, let's just remove that trigger ball while we can. Okay, great. Now, the good thing is that we are actually having a lot of good cards already in our hand. So, we might not actually lose that many good cards from our deck as we don't really have that many in deck anyways. Let's hope it's not Yerdon or something. Okay. Just uh, immortal cavalry, which is fine. So at this point, I say let's just go for our Griffin Witcher adept. Um, yep, let's just go for this and. Uh, Let's even use our Redwood's Royal card on that. Alright. Now since our opponent is actually playing mill deck, then winning this round becomes like compulsory to be honest. So yep, we are gonna go like you know as deep as possible okay yep so we are gonna have to lock either Brothans or that sergeant as uh, not locking either of them is gonna lose us this match yep I think it's better to lock Brothans so let's play our Margarita and uh, lock that assimilate engine. All right. Okay, Cantorella. Griffin Witcher. I mean, it's an all right pull. Okay, we cannot really <laughs> kill that with our uh, red haze anymore. Which kind of sucks. Now the thing is that since our opponent is actually playing mill deck, he might actually have coup de grace. So what we can do here is maybe we can use our one liter charge on that Cantorella just to deny that one point of damage on coup de grace. Yep, and uh, let's go for. John Natalis while we can as I don't really want to lose Amphibious Assault and uh, let's go for Griffin Witcher of our own here for honor and for all right great oh fuck man yep I just missed that our opponent also have one Griffin Witcher so he can just remove that shield on that Cantorella and now Kurigras is actually do three damage instead of one. Yep. Oh man, that was such a stupid play. And we also lost that uh, one liter charge. Oh. Okay, at least our opponent is actually drawing some shit cards from our deck. So at this point, I think. Um, what should we play here? Um, first of all, let's just use this ping on maybe Witcher Student. Yeah, but I think let's just go for Prince Ensis here. Yep, and let's put shield on this and let's kill that sergeant. 
All right, great. Ah, fuck's sake. So he's gonna kill our Griffin Witcher. Yep. And we have, uh, you know, kind of pricked our both Griffin Witcher adept, so we don't really have anything for later rounds for generating shields other than our profit. Hmm. Yep, it's not looking that great, man. Now we can. Use our Neuromancy for Yodun. Or we can actually play Red Haze now. It's, you know, still playing for uh, 6 damage, which is kind of, you know. Alright, it's not really that bad. Now, all that matters, you know, I mean, all it matters is that we stay ahead of our opponent and we can win this round. As that is like you know compulsory against Mildex that you have to win round one and then you have to push it in round two. That's the only way you actually win against Mildex. <laughs> okay, so yep, it's gonna be tough to win against this. And he has got a bloody T boar. Okay, you know what? That pull actually kind of saves us this match. So we might actually still compete. So this is boosted by 6, this is boosted by 2, and this is boosted by 4. So all in all, it's 12 points of boost, and you know, it's 1 damage to unit 2, so it's 11 point here done. Which kind of not takes us ahead, so let's just play our maxi here. So our next three draws is target practice, Gwen and profit, which is you know actually pretty fine. So I'm gonna keep that as it is. So if our opponent passes here, we can just use our neuromancy for some dump cards, but I doubt he's gonna pass. Yep. It's a Tony Joust. Alright, so now we have two options. We either commit our uh, King Rogner here and use that one leader charge, or we use our Neuromancy into Quinn into Yodin. Um, so, yep. Yeah. I think uh, Quinn into Yerden takes us ahead, right? Yep, let's just go for that. Let's go for Quinn into Yerden. Onto Melero. Great, and we can even use our Griffin Witcher Adapt and change Yerden as we don't really want to, you know. I mean our opponent can, has already used his Cody Grass so it's fine but still it's always better to transform your Yodin. Alright so we are 5 points ahead and you know uh, winning round 1 is looking pretty easy here. And we also know that we have some good draws for round 2. Alright, it's a bloody 5 point operator. I mean, I'm not really gonna go for a win in this round. I'm, I will happily take that draw. And we are actually one card ahead. Yep. Alright guys, so we have got the best case scenario. We have actually won round 1 against Mill and we also have one extra card. I mean, we have not really won. It's a draw, but you know, it's kind of a win anyways. And we have got some sick cards. Now I think the next draw is Keltar or maybe Prophet. Yep, I think it's Prophet. So let's uh, remove this target practice. Yep. And we can use our Amphibious Assault or Neuromancy for Keltar or something. So let's just stick with this hand. And let's start with Prophet.
All right, Van Williams Hunter, that is perfectly fine. So, uh, let's use our uh, Neuromancy for Kelta. And uh, let's even put uh, shield on this as we do know that opponent has Kodigras as one of his cards. Alright, it's hunting pack, which is fine. Okay, I mean that's, you know, in 80% of the matches that's what happened when you went round 1 against me. So yep. Alright guys, so we are facing commandos yep inspired zeal so we should actually be favored against this opponent as they don't really have that much control now we don't really need two of these now selective mutation is pretty good in round one here and squirrel two as we can banish their amphibious assault and neuromancy which is pretty important for you know commandos deck so now the bad part here is that we don't really have uh, Griffin Witcher which is pretty important if we have to win round 1 comfortably. Uh, let's mulligan King Rogner too as we are not really gonna play him in round 1. Oh fuck's sake, so we have missed both our Echo cards along with Griffin Witcher. Now granted we do have Griffin Witcher on our selective mutation but still it's not really you know so let's just start with our griffin which are adept maybe after that you know next turn we can go for selective mutation into griffin witcher So that way we are gonna have our, you know, Griffin Witcher Adept train started along with the uh, uh, Griffin Witcher with Crystal Skull on it. So that should provide us a lot of tempo. Oh fuck's sake, so that kind of ruins our entire yeah, play, right? I, live to see it. I mean, this purifies and damages by four, so it's kind of useless to use bomb on our own unit. Uh, so let's just play this uh, Redwood's Royal card for now. Alright, Amphibious Assault into Defender. Maybe he's got full test since, you know, that's the only reason you actually play Defender with uh, Inspired Seal. So let's use our Moon Dust. And next turn we can put the, uh, you know, our Redwood's Royal card onto Ensays if our opponent goes for, yep, full test. So that way we don't even have to use our Leader Charge. So let's put our Ensays onto Melee. Let's boost him that full test. Now the thing is that we don't really have any engine setup on board, like that is one major issue here. Death to the enemy. So I think it's, let's use our red haze here as we cannot really get that blue stripes commando train started as that would be a lot of you know points and we won't be able to catch up. Alright, I mean it's fine if he's making copy, but he cannot really, you know, summon them in the match right now. So let's get this and uh, let's move uh, maybe profit back as we're not really gonna use him in round one. Now the issue here is that we are two points behind. Now we can use our leader charge, but it only boosts by two and 
I don't really want to commit two liter charges and I don't really want to you know use my crystal skull on something which is not Griffin Witcher so yeah I won't be actually surprised here if our opponent just takes a pass here Yep. Alright, anyways, let's play our squirrel and banish that amphibious assault. Alright, so, yep, not really a good match for us as we are, you know, we have gone two cards down. You're done. Neuromancy is good. Dallas now I don't really want Yarden in hand so let's remove that okay Amphibious Salt okay so we have also got King Rogner so we are just missing Prophet and maybe Margarita let's just take a pass here So Quinn is alright, we have got Prophet and we have got on Dark Practice. So what else are we missing here? So you know we have Yodan via Quinn, we have uh, Margarita via Neuromancy, which are Adept via Amphibus Assault. So I think we are actually having all the things here. Yep, let's just keep this. So yep, this hand is actually looking pretty great here so what we are gonna do is maybe start with our prophet Leboida so maybe we are gonna start with our prophet and you know after that uh, just gonna place units adjacent to it yep princess Pavetta. So let's start with our Prophet and I'm not even gonna, you know, put any charges on that in case our opponent has Heat Wave, he can use it and usually, you know, well, Spad Seal have basically 5 points of damage so if that's the case they don't, you know, they cannot really kill our Prophet anyways so we should be good here Alright, Ballista so at 5 we are gonna have to protect our prophet so let's go for griffin witcher adept here so you know we can get our uh, adept train started and after that we can go for our griffin witcher yep so let's use our adept fuck man what the fuck uh, yep i just clicked without seeing the card man okay that might cost us this match yep I wanted griffin witcher adept so now the thing is huh. yep that was like a very stupid mistake I mean we can now use our Quinn for griffin witcher adept and for Yodan we can use our neuromancy but still I think you know that way we are gonna lose some points all right it's roach I mean that's a lot of points already right so let's pull our target practice on Profit and let's start using these things on our Griffin Witcher. Alright, smoke them out, that's fine. So let's use our other Griffin Witcher as we are kind of losing a lot of value here. 
So next turn maybe we can go for Keldar and after that it's Quinn into Griffin Witcher add up. So yep, we actually lost a lot of value by you know misclicking on Griffin Witcher instead of Griffin Witcher add up. Alright, it's Voimir. So let's play our Keldar on melee. And let's Go remove all the priests here. Now we can go for John Dallas and do maybe boiling oil or something. But for now, next turn we're gonna go for our Quinn into Griffin Witcher Adapt. Alright, seek support. So the opponent can actually have the uh, South Kirk. So we have two options either to use our John Atelis and go for Boiling Oil. But then again, we are actually losing a lot of value by not playing our Griffin Witcher Adapt. So yep, let's go for Quinn into Griffin of Chikadat. And let's use these pens. Alright. Alright, so I have just actually realized that we don't really even have board space on melee, right? It's 7 already and... Yep. So if we play our John Atalus, it plays a Warfare card, right? And we're gonna fill our entire row, so... Looks like our John Atalus is kind of bricked. Yep, it's not looking that great to be honest here. I mean, we still should be pretty good as our Rognar is gonna be super big. But still, I should have actually played that Keldar on ranged instead of going on melee. What do you want? So I think uh, this turn, let's use our Neuromancy for Margarita. Yep, we are not really gonna go for Zeldin anymore. And next turn we are gonna go for our King Rogner. Now before we play our King Rogner, let's use our entire leader as we want to create as many shields as possible. Alright, let's start on the hill. Ooh. I mean... That's a 31 point problem, right? So we should actually be winning this match even though we have bricked our John Natalis as long as um, opponent doesn't really have Yodin. Now I don't really think uh, uh, inspired zeal decks with commandos run Yodin. So we might actually see Drog here. No, it's John Natalis. Okay, so I mean, if it's not Draug, then maybe it's actually Yodin. I'm not really sure. Anyways, oh, let's just play our two point John Natalis as we have bricked it. Yep, I should have actually you know, played Keldar on Grange. That was a mistake here. But still, we are looking pretty good.
Oh, fuck's sake, man. Oh, bloody order. Yep. Should have played Kelda on ranged. We might actually win it if we hadn't bricked our John Atalis.